Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, Check I gotta fix your volume. There we go. Oh, I can't wait. Jesse, congratulations on your baby girl. She's and beautiful. Wendy's there. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. You're helping me on live next. <laughs> All right, ladies. Hi, Kathy. How are you guys? I hope everybody's doing good. I'm just giving it a minute for it to set up. But you have Tiffany, one of the Peppy co-owners, which is myself. And then we have a guest live, my Aunt Pia, who I am showing her how to work a Facebook Live no, by man. helping me with comments tonight. So um, she's going to do amazing, I know. Kayla says, yay, first live. Okay, honey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our wine going over here. We have some beautiful nails coming. And right now I am showing you guys the beautiful color Peppy Paradise, which is absolutely stunning. It's our um, rose gold that we offer on the website currently. It is a chunkier glitter, so I thought it would be really fun tonight. Um, one, to push my auntie out of her comfort zone and get some bling on her nails. And two, also to really show you guys how to use chunky glitter the correct way. So, if you guys are watching, I want to give one of these away tonight. If we can get 600 Ooh. viewers on live by you guys sharing or inviting your friends I will give one away, and if we do something crazy, I'll give two away. So I am relying on you all to blow this live up tonight. Okay. Woohoo. She's like, woohoo. So you guys it are going to. It does look like gold, Jennifer, I have to say. It looks like gold. It looks like gold in the jar, but. It's show fabulous. Your... Okay. Let... Her, this hand is not finished yet. We're still working on it. So can don't mind the little. Yep, we can is see. It's showing. It is showing. You have a little leg. So we are still working on this hand. Don't mind the little loose pieces, but this is the rose gold. Woo -woo. So you guys can see. So it's going to awesome. be amazing, and you guys are going to love it. So a little bit extra tonight. We are going to kind of prep Pia's nails, Auntie Pia's. <laughs> um, her nails are mostly prepped for the most part, but we are going to go ahead and push the cuticles back. While we are on live, we're going to um, buff the nail bed just a little bit and kind of give them a little bit of shape. But one thing I want to show you guys up close, because I see uh, we have a lot of new babes. And if you're not used to using Peppy Gel, you are going to go through trial and error of application until you figure it all out. Because you have to learn how to prep and then you have to learn how to apply. So one of the most important things in prep is this cuticle right here on the nail bed, you really want to remove it. Yes. Like if you leave that on there and you apply Peppy Gel over it, you're guaranteed to have lifting and your nails are going to pop off. And you don't want to do that because down the road, it'll eventually harm the nail bed. Now my Aunt Pia <laughs> has been wearing Peppy Gel wrong. for what, since I started, right? Yes, Four years absolutely. now. Yeah. Yeah. And look how and my amazing. nails are in great shape. Compared. Better shape yes. than before. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So her nails look amazing. So real quick, I just want to reiterate, what we're prepping is we're removing this cuticle right here yeah. off the nail bed. Now there are cuticle aids on the market. Um, one that we used to use was called Blue Cross, and it works really great. The biggest problem with those is that they are very oily and they are also the culprit of For making your nails lift. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Your product will not adhere to your nails. But look how, like, look at this right here. This is very important. Somebody says she loves the color. I didn't catch her name, but she's loving your color. Oh, my French white. Thank you. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're a little beat up right now. they are been on for, I don't know, a week and a half. Um, but anyways, yeah. So you want to really make sure that you remove this right yes. here that I'm tugging at. Yeah. And if you use just a simple cuticle pusher and we offer a really great one on our website and push them back, that'll take care of it. And you can use a cuticle aid to help, but don't apply your peppy afterwards. Use Dawn soap and wash your hands to get that oil off. Yes. So now I'm gonna go ahead 
excuse me, I talked too fast here. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and just prep all of the nails down low now that I showed you guys a close up so you can see the overall view of what I'm doing here. And while I do that, Aunt Pia is going to read comments. Hello, Amanda Scott Stricker. She says, hello, peppy ladies. Hi. And Janet Lewis Moss says, hi, gals, with lots of hearts. Hi, Janet. Barbara Ben Benecki. I'm sorry, Barbara, if I'm mispronouncing that. Sent lots of hearts. White is such a great color for spring, says Jennifer. And I didn't catch your last name. I'm slow yes. at the reading, honey. Sorry. This I really love is it. my first live, so um, bear with me, ladies. Yep, I stuck her on the comment task, and you guys see the comments <laughs> flying in. There's a lot. There's a lot. But hey, we're almost to 600 viewers, so I'm going to have you watch that number right there. Oh. When it hits oh. 600. Oh my God, I have to watch that and the comments. Holy cow, I don't know that I can do both. <laughs> <laughs> you totally oh, can. <laughs> okay. All right, so now, ladies, after I push the cuticles back, because there is some cuticle on the nail bed, I'm going to use my drill, which I don't recommend to use very often on your nails because it's not the best thing for it. But if you want a long-lasting peppy cure, you're going on vacation, and you really want to make sure your cleanup is good, go ahead and take your drill out and do this. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove what the cuticle pusher could not get off for me. Chelsea wants to know, is the cuticle pusher on the website? It is. Okay. It is on the website under Peppy Accessories. Okay. And Laura Johnson Powers says she loved her mystery box. Oh, thank you. That was such a fun box. And ladies, while I am on the topic, mystery boxes close tomorrow, and these are for June's mystery box. They don't ship in May, they ship in June. That is like the biggest confusion I see. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys, the gift in this box is freaking amazing. You're gonna love it. Aww. So, also the colors are obviously amazing, but I think you're gonna be really excited to see what got included this month. Barbara says her 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 shipment has or her order has shipped today and she's excited. Yay, she thank you. She didn't catch the last name, it was moving too fast and I'm trying to watch the number thing too. <laughs> thank you, ladies. Sorry girls, I really am a novice at this. Ladies, why ladies, did we drop down sorry. to 480? Yeah, you guys aren't loving us happened. tonight? Y'all don't want a free color, do you? Oh, I'm pretty sure they do. More popped on right now. Join us, share, 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 share. Go ahead and share because we're going to give away a Peppy Paradise tonight if we hit 600 viewers. And we are so darn close. We are. <laughs> so Sue says she can't wait for her mystery box. So after I clean up the cuticles, occasionally I like to just go really light. Saban says hi, Pia. Hi, hi Saban. Saban. Hola, honey. Hi. <laughs> That's Auntie Pia's friend. Yeah. Who is also a peppy babe. Yes, she is. So I do like to go very light with the drill. Just occasionally, ladies. Not all the time. You don't need to drill your nail bed. It's not the best thing for them. But if you are going for a long-term wear, by all means, just go really, really gentle, really light. Keep your drill at a very low speed. It does not need to be at a high speed at all. And then just really take your time with it. And this is the drill that we use. I get, I got this one off of Amazon. It was very pricey. It was 150 bucks, but mm -hmm. it's portable, it's wireless, and it is making my life easy tonight being on the go with not having yes. to worry about all that other stuff. <laughs> so that's personally why I chose that one. Naomi says she wants that color. I don't know which color she wants. Probably Peppy Paradise. Ah, yes. The giveaway color. The giveaway color. All right. Kristen Evans says, I love my Peppy. Thank I'll you. never go back to regular polish. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Woohoo. So after I do that, because I barely touch the nail beds at all, I like to take a very used buffer because it's less detrimental to your nail bed very gentle on your nail bed to use for the finish of my prep. The, um, just go really light with it. Keep the foam side to your cuticle so you don't beat it up and then just go at it. 
Oh, that's a good tip. Keep the foam side towards your cuticles. Oh, yeah. yeah, then you don't nick your cuticles. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I've been doing that wrong a time or two. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure I've done it. I just get carried away and I don't pay attention. <laughs> All right, ladies. So again, I'm going really light and I just want to show you, like look at the difference between the pointer, how shiny it is versus how much duller that the middle finger is. This is what is going to determine how long your peppy cures are going to last. The shinier your nail bed is, the more slick it is, which means it's not going to hold the product the way that it should. So you really want your nails to be dry with a little bit of texture to grasp onto that powder and hold it for two or three weeks. Fabulous. Susan just signed up for her mystery box and can't wait. Yay. Yay. Thank you. You're going to love it. And Gabby is so excited to be a peppy girl. She's waiting for her starter kit. Welcome to peppy. Having uh, a feeling that she too will be an addict and <laughs> oh. we can vouch for that. Yes. I'm an addict to my own brand. And Kathy <laughs> says when she did her first peppy, she was in love and immediately bought a six pack. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. So now I'm going ahead to dust off the extra excess, sorry, powder off of the nail bed. I'm just going to double check my cuticle work here, make sure it's all good to go. But let me show you guys up close. Like this is what prepped nails should look like. They should look clean around the cuticles. They should look dull on the nail bed. And then of course, what I'm going to do now is just give them a quick touch up on the shape. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into the dipping process. So we are getting close to 600. We are at the 517. I have 520 on mine. 520, yeah. Oh, mine jumped, yeah. Yeah, there's okay, slightly a lag. We're going to go oh. off Aunt Pia's phone because she's the watcher. Oh, uh, well, but, that's at 5.15. I don't know how that happened. I guess that means... Somebody didn't somebody, like us. Somebody hung up or something. <laughs> they hung know. up on us. <laughs> they oh, hung up. Dear. No, it's okay. People are busy. Yes. People are busy and they maybe so they've Lisa already watched. Says, new to Peppy, got my French starter kit and love it. Fabulous, Lisa. I do the French a lot as well and yeah. I love it too. Pia and my mom both love French so yeah. much. Goes with anything. It does. Actually, you know what my mom did today? What? Mighty Mango. She did a bright orange, and it looks Ooh. really good on her because she has oh, that yeah. tan She's going got that on. Good, good skin yeah. color. Where is mom tonight? How come I don't hear her or see her popping up there? She's probably having date night with oh, dad. All right. Jennifer says she's definitely addicted. Sweet, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> we are too. How many nice colors? Nice to know. Uh, 524 now is what we're at. So and six... Tiffany wanted to know how many colors did Jennifer have? Yeah, how many colors does everybody have? How many colors does everyone have? All right, so real quick um, to talk about shaping. If you're doing this on yourself, I always lean. We'll pretend that the file here is the edge of a desk. I always lean my finger on the edge of the desk, and then I slowly glide just like nice and straight along the top. And then I kind of come in a little bit to get my shape. So in this case, because I'm working on another person's nails, I'm just kind of going in really gentle. You don't want to do too much on the sidewalls, but just enough to kind of give it that precision that you want and then go really slow. And you can see it just really um, defines the shape a little bit. Mariella watches every Tuesday and she looks forward to oh, it. Oh, thank, thank you. Auntie Peppy Lauren says, love your nail shape. Oh, thank you, honey. Yes, <laughs> she has a great shape. Lovely. I'm blessed. Yeah, her Aunt Pia and my Aunt Wendy are both the Peppy Auntie Queens. <laughs> they are out there telling all their friends about Peppy all the time, and I'm so super thankful for that. So I'm trying to make sure you guys can see if I have to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Abby says, I have six colors. I think I'm waiting on about six more. <laughs> God bless you, Abby. <laughs> Get them while you can because yeah. they are a hot commodity right now, ladies. They are a hot commodity. We, um, when quarantine started, like all the salons closed down. So, of course, I'm not going to say just Peppy Gel, but I would say every single nail company 
out there who sells to individuals like we do has experienced some kind of boom, um, like unpredictably because of the quarantine. Yes. But I don't like, I just want to recap, like to a lot of you ladies, we're in a state that is closed until June 10th. And then their, their phase one opening is May 15th for like some things, but that even excludes our area because we're real, literally like 30 minutes outside of DC. So it's just a hugely populated area. So we had to fight like through those struggles and then we've added to the Peppy team and we put all the info out there so everybody knows before they order that shipping is gonna be about three weeks processing. And so we try to do everything that we can and we know like some ladies like really don't wanna wait and that's totally fine. But just keep in mind that we are putting that info out there for you guys to see. There's been a lot of comments and I can't catch the names, but there are a lot of peppy ladies out there that have some good stock. Oh. And some have said, woohoo, have more in the cart. And we're, you know, we're oh my goodness. One lady said, oh my God, my husband's going to kill me. <laughs> no, he's not. He's going to love how beautiful your nails are. Oh, absolutely. So what do you guys think about our matching background board that matches our retro bottles? Pretty like, groovy. Like, how cute is that, right? All right, so I need a sip of wine before we move into okay. the next. Do you want a sip of do wine? Do we get to do cheers? Let's do a cheers. 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 Ooh. Here's one for Saban. <laughs> Saban, we're cheersing to you. And... And all the other peppy ladies. Out yeah, there. we're cheersing to everybody. And I generally don't do anything like that on live. So if somebody is offended yeah, by that, yeah. I'm very sorry. Yeah. But, you know, everybody has to have a little bit of a treat every now and then, right? That's it. All right. So I just kind of like to double check my work because I'm an OCD freak and I have to check all of it out. And just make sure everything is good. And we are looking good. Like these are prepped nails. And as you guys can see, what did that take me? 10 minutes to do all Probably that? Less. Yeah. yeah that it doesn't yeah. it doesn't take very long. Now, when you're just starting out and you're learning how to shape your nails, of course it's gonna take a little bit longer. But once you get used to it and you kind of use all the tips that we offer in all of our other live videos, you will see that it actually goes very, very fast. So I'm gonna move Pia's hand out of the live just for a second. Before we get started, I am taking- <laughs> One of the girls says, dang, I need a glass of wine, LOL. Get one. I have a beautiful Bordeaux tonight <laughs> that I got from Total Wine, and Pia has her Phantom Bogle that she loves. Yeah. And Saban says, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. All right, I'm so, sorry. no, you're good. Before I get started, a really good quick tip I like to share with you ladies is I take a toothpick or the end of the cuticle pusher after it's nice and clean and just kind of stick it into the powder to loosen it up. That's very important because you want your powder to be nice and fluffy for it to glide onto the nail like beautifully. If you have it very condensed into the jar, then it's gonna go on your nail condensed with bumps and you don't want that to happen. So we have espresso martini that we're working with this evening. It's a beautiful neutral nude color. And then we're gonna be working with clear, which there's not much to it because it is clear. And then we have Peppy Paradise and we're 55 people away from hitting 600. Oh, oh my goodness. So we will give one of these away. And how do we do that, Tiffany? How do we give away? How do you pick who oh, gets Oh, if we hit it, I'm gonna let you do the honors. <gasps> No way. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness. All right. So we are going to get into dipping. All right. So we are taking our number one. We call it our ready, but it is, it is the base that you're going to use to get the powder to adhere to your nail. So the very important key factors in using your number one bottle, and I truly cannot stress this enough to you, is make sure that you use the inside wiper of the bottle to pull excess liquid off your brush. So your liquid is very thin going onto your nail, giving you a nice natural application. But most importantly, because if any liquid at all gets on the top of the bottle or the side of the bottle, it's essentially gonna glue the lid shut because it mm -hmm. is an adhesive. They don't glue shut on their own. They glue shut because liquid is there, I promise you. So just keep that in mind. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And that information is also important with your number three bottle, but I will talk about that again when we get there. And if you find that you can't pull the liquid off using just the inside wiper of the bottle, feel free to grab a paper towel and dab it off there. All right, P.S. Any fun comments? All kinds. Peppy Paradise looks like fun from Debbie Brewer. It's fun color. Oh, one gal has a good question. Can you explain why you get a cloudy streak in the number three? Absolutely. We've all had that happen, right? Yes. Lesson learned. I didn't catch her name, but it was a good question. That is a part of the learning curve of Peppy Gel. So in order to prevent confusion, when we get to this step three, I'm going to explain that in very great detail. So make sure you guys stay on um, so you guys can hear that. Because if you are new to Peppy, mastering your number three is probably one of the hardest parts. But once you do it, like then you're going to have the best nails ever, I promise. Mm, but it, it takes practice. Dorothea says, during quarantine, Peppy has kept her busy. <laughs> oh, I hope you're trying That's all good. kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. All right, so with the chunky glitter, the accent nail, the first layer of dip is going to be clear. With the heavier glitters, you only need one layer of that glitter on the nail. You do not need to dip your nail three times. It's going to be too much, too thick. It's just not going to look appropriate. So you want to start your base with a layer of clear on the natural nail. The next layer will be the glitter and then clear. So basically it's gonna be sandwiched in between the two dips of clear. So now we're gonna go back to our espresso martini. If you don't have it, you need it. It Definitely. is a staple it's a color. great neutral. I mean, I haven't seen it finished yet, but I'm totally digging it, especially being a French, Frenchy girl. Yeah, she wears French, I would say 99.5% yes. of the time, right? Oh, Michelle says thank you for answering the top coat question. Oh, you're welcome, stay Michelle. Tuned, yeah, yeah, stay on. Because I promise yeah. you I will go in very, very great detail yeah. regarding it. Because it's all about a balance issue when you apply it. Mm -hmm. If you can get your balance and timing perfect, then you're good to go. And Mariella says it's a great neutral. Uh, she's replying to someone else. I don't know how that works, but I guess they were talking about another neutral or maybe this one right here. This one, I think. Yeah. And Jennifer says she loves the chunky glitter tutorial. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, I was like, we haven't done one and in a while. It, Caitlin says, is it possible to do without the clear? So is it possible to do a chunky glitter without having a clear coat under? So you can use a base color, any color that you have. Um, or you can use French pink would be a good alternative. Yes. But... You definitely want a color, like some kind of barrier on the nail bed because it's going to make removal much easier. Okay. Okay, ladies, we are so close to 600. What is going on? Wow. I know we can hit it. Are you... So Don't Kylie disappoint says, me. says, are you bringing back any older colors anytime soon? Yes. Yeah, so right now, we're currently only stocking our most popular colors, plus the 13 new colors we added to the site last Friday, um, because it helps to speed processing up by not having to fulfill as many colors during this crazy time. Yeah. But I'm anticipating... Sometime in June, we will be back to normal speed, like early June, which is not too far from now. No, it's not. Yeah, so, but don't hold me to that because anything can change. Like, it's crazy, ladies. It's just, there's just so much going on, so I don't want to overpromise. Maria says Peppy should do a bundle of their five most popular colors. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. We nice. could do that. Yeah. All right, so right now I am taking the Peppy Duster brush and I am just wiping off the excess powder off of my Auntie so Pia's close. nails. 598, 598. Girls. Are you 598? Oh, you 598. are. Why does mine say 593? Oh, I'm down to 592. <gasps> Me too. What does that mean? I oh don't my gosh. That. I know you, if every person on this live invited even one friend, we would hit a oh, thousand now viewers. I'm down to 588. If we hit a thousand I viewers, I give two colors away. 
Tori says she's still a chicken with chunky glitter, but she'll attempt one day. I love that, honey. Oh, girl. Yeah. You're going to be a pro after this. Listen, this is my first time with chunky glitter, too. Of course, I'm not applying it, but Tiffany makes it look very easy, so. It takes practice, but you guys got this. All right, so now we're going in with our second layer of dip, which is going to be espresso martini and then peppy paradise. And I'm going to use a little toothpick during this process. And I'm going to show you up close because it's going to be hard to show you once I dip. But after I dip, if you're doing your own nails, I generally don't do this on other people's nails because I can maneuver okay. But on your own nails, if you take the Q-tip or the toothpick. toothpick, whatever it's called, <laughs> push up on the cuticle after you dip and just run along the cuticle it's really gonna give you those clean, a nice edge. Yeah, a yeah. really nice edge. So I just kind of leave my stick like right in the jar for easy access. And then I just don't put, you know, the side on the nail in the jar. I just leave that on the upside here. But it really helps like while you're doing your own nails. It's a really great thing. Like I've been doing Peppy Gel obviously since we started, which has been four years now, almost. Four years to Yeah, me. four years, it's gone That's by fantastic. fast. Fantastic. And I never used the um, toothpick or cuticle stick thing until probably about a month ago. And I was like, man, I thought I always did my nails really great. But this really just like helped take it to another level. Pat says she loves French manicure but hadn't tried one yet or hadn't tried it yet. Oh, you got to try it. Yeah, got to try. It's easier than it looks. And you can pick really the white is. line wherever you want it. You can make it longer, which is what I do. Wear my nails short and paint the white line further down. Yeah, and she just does her fills as it goes. Yeah. All right, so when I'm dipping... <gasps> We're at 6.07. Oh, 6.11. Six oh, my God. 6.14. I missed it. 6.14. Okay, how does it work? How does it work? What do we do? What do All we right. do? So you guys got to stay on because the giveaway is going to be here after we finish our dipping. So you guys got to stay on. We have to stay on. What does mm -hmm. that mean? We have to stay on. They're staying on. They have on. to stay, they on. stay on. Yeah. Okay. We got to keep that number okay. up. Okay. Okay. So now the important part of dipping with chunky glitter. Oh, yes. This is important. Yeah. I have to pay attention now. Yeah. Which I hate the word chunky glitter, ladies. Like, I don't um, know how many times I have said that on a live, but, but I just... But it is. It's, it's big. The it glitter, is big. But it, big. it's not a pretty word. Well, it just like... Peppy Paradise Rose Gold, that's a pretty word. But when you're like, oh, it's chunky, it's not that pretty, right? Mm. What, could, what would you call it? Robust. Robust. Robust glitter. Is that any better? Not really. <laughs> what if it is like... What if it was... Um, party pop glitter. Oh, there you go. Party pop. How can we... Can we how can we? What can how we How can say? we change... How can we get everybody to change what they call chunky glitter? Well, That's going to be know, really hard. You can't. Why is chunky a bad word? It's they not a bad word. They candy bars. <laughs> I know. It's not a bad word. It's not a bad Because it is true. That's what it is. Yeah. It just doesn't sound pretty to me. Well, we're going to have to... Okay. Enough banter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Very important, when you have your chunky glitter, <laughs> mm. you're going to kind of shake the jar like this and just kind of maneuver it around. And what you're trying to do is get all of this glitter to lay flat. Yes. The flatter this glitter lays, the nicer it's going to look on your nail. Brandy says, do you stir chunky glitter too? No. 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 You're just going to like move it around, tap, tap, whatever you need to do to get that glitter to lay flat on top. Then what I'm going to do, or what you should do, is when you paint your base onto the nail, make sure it's a really nice thin layer because we're gonna use an alternate dipping method for this color and if you paint your base too heavy, you're gonna end up squishing it off the side onto your skin. So it's really important that you have a nice thin layer of powder like you see this clear over here. You want it to be really nice. So what I'm going to do is paint the base on to my Auntie Pia's nail, and she's actually going to come in and dip her nail flat like this. I'm going to try and dip my nail flat. <laughs> yeah, she's going to do it. We'll be able to. Yeah. 
Coarse, I, coarse glitter versus fine glitter. How about that? Coarse. I like coarse. Is coarse. better. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't catch who said that, but hello. Or wait, can it, since fine glitter is like fine glitter and it's still like pretty, can chunky glitter be like super fine? Oh, there you, you go. Get it? And somebody else said party pop glitter is fabulous. Why not? <laughs> Full figured glitter. All right, we like that. I like Mom. that. Full figured glitter. This Fabulous. is the this is the crap I think about. This is what I think about you guys. Yeah. All right, so I'm painting a nice thin base. I'm going all the way up, mm -hmm. but stopping a hairline before the cuticle. Do not ever get product on your cuticle because you're guaranteed to have lifting. So go ahead and do your thing. I have to make her do it. And you want to be gentle. Oh, I probably wasn't just gentle as I should have been. Was nope, I? you're fine. Okay. And then it's very important that right away you go in and you start patting down any of the glitter. Look at that. That is standing up. Am oh I in the God, frame? so beautiful. You look like you're in the frame on, on what I'm looking at. And then I'm yes. going to take the toothpick. Major glitter. Oh, somebody said. And Priscilla is saying giveaways, question mark. <laughs> And somebody else says heavy glitter. And someone else says, I love these tutorials because it saved my nails so many times. Good. Good to know. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, honey. No, no, you're good. So what I'm doing, ladies, is I'm just patting down the glitter and running the toothpick along the edge of the nails to clean up anything that could be hanging over. So the super fine chunky glitter is a little bit harder to get perfect around your cuticle because of the shape of the glitter so you kind of have to maneuver it just a little bit before it dries up to kind of get the shape that you want since it won't all necessarily lay flat exactly like that and as you guys can see it's gorgeous it's super gorgeous and then it's going to be very thin, like my nails here in the end. You only need one dip of this glitter. Truly. I promise you, you will get the full coverage you're looking for. And it will last how many times, Tiffany? What do you think? Oh, like gosh. If you're doing just one dipsy nail. dipsy doodles on one nail will you get? <laughs> oh, my God. So one jar of powder will last about 25 manicures. Okay. Somebody so if else you're, had asked that question. And which yeah. glitter is this? Um, Peppy the, Paradise. Peppy Paradise is the glitter. Yeah. Amber says she just learned the toothpick trick and it helps. It does Yes, help. it does. Even and for Heidi says thank you for all your teaching and Jessica says sparkle powder. Oh, I love it. I like sparkle powder. That's great. Nice. All right, ladies, so I am doing thin, even layers of base. Remember the trick I showed you in the beginning of the video of wiping that excess liquid off your brush but not getting it all over your bottle and just going nice and thin and dipping right into the jar. And then we're going to go ahead and take the toothpick and just give it a really quick cleanup over here so she can have the best nails possible. And the actual cuticle line here is really good, so I'm not going to even risk touching it. Jamie says, do you ever do smaller jars? We do not do smaller jars. Um, maybe one day, but currently we do not. Alright, so now we're going in. Heavenly glitter for the larger ones and light glitter. Isn't that pretty? That's I a like pretty that. thought, too. That is pretty. Oh, and Holly says it's ultimate glitter. Yay. I like that. Yep. I need a really good name so I can name it that yeah. on the website. Yeah. I need to go in and edit that and all that stuff. And Amanda says she has not been without Peppy for over a year. Oh, wow. And she loves it. Thank you. Hmm. All right, and then the pointer is good. We don't need to touch that one. Okay. Fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe the excess powder off over here. I always save the thumb for last because if you do it too soon, it's not gonna be quite dry with the base and you're gonna find like, it'll stick a little bit onto oh. your brush and you don't want to have that happen. Good plan. Yeah. yeah, good. Good tip. All 
I, so, I'm I like sorry, this. I'm concentrating on watching you now and I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh no, you gotta read Michelle the... says, Can't Thanks. wait to get my kit. Michelle, we're we're glad you're excited. Thank Hang you. In there. Welcome yeah. to Peppy. Yes, welcome to Peppy indeed. All right, and then bend your wrist a little bit. Sorry. There you go. And then we'll just clean this up real fast. Cammie says she needs to order more colors. <laughs> oh, girl. There's so many colors, especially once we add them all back on the website. But the new colors that we just released on Friday, holy moly, they're so amazing. Actually, there's a couple neutrals in there that I think you would like, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm just totally digging this, Tiffany. They're cute. This Let's is show. Groovy. This is what we're looking like right now. We're gonna dust off the excess powder. So I always do the solid colors first. So generally at home or in my regular live studio, I'll have two brushes, one for the light color, one for the glitter, so it doesn't oh. transfer over. But today I'm on travel. Not travel, I'm just not in my live studio. Right. So I go ahead and wipe the excess powder off, get it all cleaned off over here. Now I'm gonna wipe off that Ashley glitter. Is watching. Hi, and Ashley. clean all that off. Hi Ash. Love you, honey. Alright, so let's go in with your final dip. Final dip. Woo woo. I'm gonna go ahead and stir, make sure that's nice and loose again. And then we're gonna uh, Amy cute. says, wished I could volunteer my hand or uh -huh. nails for a video. That's cute. That would be fun. Yeah. So now I'm going in and just making sure I get everything nicely covered. So the final result is going to be beautiful. And this is where you really kind of want to do that um, toothpick trick the most on your final layer because it's really going to be what you see the most. And just clean it right up, just like that. Perfect. And now with the Peppy Paradise nail, we are going in with clear as the final layer. But instead of dipping into the jar, because I don't want any loose glitter pieces to fall over, oh. I'm actually going to use the cuticle stick to scoop it and pour it over. Oh, that's interesting, Tiffany. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering how we were going to do that. Yeah, so we don't... Wow. Look how it's going to shine. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's going to be awesome. I love Peppy Paradise. It's my favorite, one of my favorite glitters. Once you pour the clear over, it's going to look a little bit dull, but once we shine it up. Oh, you're literally like scooping like a. Yep, just pouring it wow. right over. I think the fan dried it a little okay. bit fast, but that's okay. Okay. All right, and what that's going to do is just, in the that's end, it. create an encapsulation of the glitter, and it's going to be smooth and beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Exciting. Yes. So, only one layer of chunky glitter between the clear one. sandwiches. Yes. Yep. One gl layer oh, of glitter. Oh, Caitlin's on. She says, Pia, you're so funny. Oh. Caitlin, where are you My been? sister, Caitlin? Yeah, I think oh. so, because she didn't, she didn't say... Anything else? <laughs> She's funny. Caitlin, was that you? You have to come back because I don't know how to look again. All right, so now we're going in our third dip with third espresso. Dip. And ladies, this gets really fast when you do it at home, I promise. It does. I go slow on tutorials because, of course, I am Jennifer teaching. Says her salons opened up on Saturday for phase one, but she canceled her appointment she made two weeks ago because she loves the Peppy. Oh, I'm you. glad you're loving That's Peppy. Fabulous. All right. And now third and final dip on the pointer. Yeah, if you are a salon goer, just be careful. 
But really, it's not just salons. Caitlin it's... says, love you guys. It is Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. We love you, too. Yep. It's not just salons. It's anywhere you go right yes, now. Yes, we all Yeah. I'm careful. not singling any place out no. by any means. We but just don't need to be careful. Yeah. We don't want no sicky people. No. Uh, my husband told me that his... So, my husband is Lao Laotian. <laughs> And so his parents watch a lot of Asian news, and he did tell me that Japan is shut back down again. So Aww. just be careful. All right, so we are going to go ahead and do our third and final dip over here on Aunt Pia's thumb. Maya says she loves this color. I do too, Maya. Yeah, this color is very good. pretty, yeah. And Ashley says, loving these colors. Yes, indeed, because we are working with two, aren't we? Ashley, and I can't Cammy wait to see your Cammy nails Cammy all says, grown. Cammy says, everyone is staying safe, which is very sweet. And yes, we all are. Yes. And Robin says she can't wait to see the final. Me too, Robin. Oh, girl, I'm getting close. <laughs> We're getting close. Yeah. We are almost getting close. So you're going to see some filing and shaping going on. So Perdita wants to know, can you do a fill or do you have to take them off and redo every time? You can do a fill. In fact, Aunt Pia always does a fill for the most part. Like, how often would you say you actually remove? And, I might like, remove to your white five line. weeks. Yeah. And I might do a fill in three yeah two and a half somewhere in there yeah so she does french almost all the time so she just fills it in until her smile line is like to the grow out point she wants to like right move it back up excuse me i have the hiccups all right so we're gonna go ahead and dust off all the excess powder oh, i'm so excited you can already see the glitter nail is gonna start revealing itself as we work through but we're going to go ahead and take the number two set, and this is what is going to harden the powder and make your base and powder kind of interact together, cure it, and make it stick and last onto your nails. <laughs> Julie says the anticipation to see the final is killing her. <laughs> oh, I'm getting there. We're working it, Julie. So you want to make sure you get this all around your cuticle, in the sidewalls, and at the tip of your nail. How do you fill a French? Just file down along the cuticle and dip in the uh, French pink, you know, paint and mm -hmm. dip and dip again. You can do the French pink and the French white and do a whole layer. And it's kind of a personal preference, whatever works for you. Yep. All right, so we're gonna let her nails set here for a second. We have about a minute and a half or so, so it can kind of cure and work its magic up and before we go ahead and file and buff it what do you think so far I it's think like it's so fun do you love it like i, love I know this. it's not french no i love it i yeah. can't wait to see how it shakes out with the shine and i mean that whole sparkly finger is just the bomb. it is going to pop like yeah. crazy once yeah. we're done tori says i need the chunky glitter i'm doing it all right tori you go girl we have so <laughs> many of them and they're so beautiful <laughs> And we have some future ones planned that, oh my gosh, like I cannot wait until I'm able to publicly wear them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys, you know what the hardest part is, is not being able to keep wear <laughs> yeah, all the colors I want to wear. Aww. I have to keep it a secret all the time. But Jen like, says so she's fun. a peppy babe for almost two months. Four orders later, she has about 30 colors now. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did hit our 600 goal. We're not doing the giveaway yet. We do it because we, we always do it at the end. Oh, okay. Um, after we do the shine is when we do it. But oh, okay. if we hit, give me a new number, how many if we should hit if we give a second one away? Well, should we double it or should we do 950? Let's go to 950. Oh, you're, I was going to go um, to nine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm saying 950. No, all right. So Auntie Pia says if we hit 950 viewers tonight, we will give a second. Okay. Peppy Paradise away. And Perdita asks for um, fill videos when you can. Well, you know what? I don't and thanks ever. Thanks us for answering. Yeah. So I don't ever fill my nails ever because obviously live. 
Yeah. But I tell you what, when Auntie Pia does her next fill, I'm gonna come over and let her <laughs> let her oh, host God. live. We'll be in trouble, ladies. And in that time, I'm gonna re <laughs> I'm gonna sit back, read comments, and drink wine. I'm there gonna make you her go. do the work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I am going to take out my handy drill. And again, I'm gonna do it on super low speed. You do not need to be at a high speed. I like to use the metal bit on my drill. And what I'm gonna do is just go around all the nail bed, but I'm not gonna do it very long because I only wanna do just enough to kind of smooth it out. And then I'm gonna do the rest with the buffer. I personally prefer the finish of the buffer over the drill, it's just smoother. Beth says she loves that glitter so much. I it's know. so pretty. And Lisa says such gorgeous colors together. We think so, and this was fun. This is totally out of the box for me. So I'm sort of excited about that. It is. I was hoping you would say yes. I, I texted her today. I was like, can we not do French? Can we do a color? <laughs> Because I don't know if you guys saw, but my mom just did French two weeks ago, I think it was. And Brandy says yeah. her wish list is growing. <laughs> All right. Well, if it's growing, definitely add these two colors no because kidding. they're amazing. And what is it called again? The one nude color is what? Espresso, Espresso martini. Espresso martini. And okay. it got that name because that is my all-time favorite martini. Oh, Okay. And Peppy Paradise because Rose Gold is every girl's Your, paradise. Yes, so yes. <laughs> that's why we named it Peppy Paradise. Okay. So the super fine chunky glitter over here that we're working with, whatever we're calling it, um, you are going to want to drill just a little bit extra just to kind of make sure it's all nice and flat on top because remember, your final layer will be a little bit raised because of the glitter texture, but once you smooth it out, it's gonna be just like all the rest. Okay. So one lady asked, are y'all online or is there a storefront somewhere? So we sell online only. Occasionally you'll find us at an expo, but if you wanna order anything immediately, it will be on our website, which is peppygel.com. And Kylie says she's really glad you're doing a drill tutorial. I think she might have just gotten a new drill. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just go super light on your speed, and you can go light on your drill. And I really like these metal bits because oftentimes you do run off of your nail bed. And as you can see, like, I'm literally hitting myself, and it does not it's hurt. Not, yeah. yeah. The only thing it's gonna do is make the skin look a little dry, but no big deal. You just go wash it and put some Vaseline on and you're good yeah. to go. Yeah. But look at that, feel that. Like it's textured, but it's gonna oh my be God, it so feels smooth. really smooth. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to feel that way. Yeah, it, like, I thought I would feel more chunky. Yeah, when you no encapsulate offense, it yeah. in the yeah, clear, yeah, yeah. it plays okay. like that trickery okay. on your eyes. So Melissa says, do you, do you have to use a drill? No, no, no. Your kit comes with a buffer, and you can definitely do a whole manicure with just that. Even with the chunky, could I still mm -hmm. use a buffer or a? a, a you can with the chunky. File? Yeah, it'll take a little extra okay. work depending if you got all your pieces to lay flat or not. But one hundred percent, you can use a buffer to do it. Um, some of our latest like videos, we do manicures with just the buffer <laughs> on it. One girl said, hubby says he has a drill. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. I mean, you can use it like a Dremel tool thing. I've seen mm. that. All right. And we're going to the pointer. Sometimes these things are going too fast and I can't, I can't read them. I'm sorry. I apologize. Just read like whatever you see and Elizabeth says she's never used a drill. Yeah, yeah, you don't That's have okay. to. No, nope, don't have to. The, it's all a personal preference. The only reason I pull a drill out is if I'm doing somebody else's nails, it speeds up the process. And also for myself, I get a lot of carpal tunnel in my hands. Oh, so it's right. a buff a lot. Yes. Like it mm -hmm. makes my fingers lock up. So that's why I just do a little bit of drilling and then the buffing. Okay, ladies, you gotta start sharing because we gotta get to 950. Yeah, I wanna give we another. Lost, we're down below the 600. I'm afraid I'm boring. No. 
Oh, right, Lana so says she's waiting for her clear to come in so she can use her chunky glitter. Good for you, Lana. Yes. Clear is a staple. So a lot of times, like, I'll use clear as my fourth dip on top of my color. It's a very, very thin, fluffy powder because there's no pigment in it. So if you add it as a fourth dip, you're not really going to notice any thickness to your nails. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, so I do it for extra strength, but also to really amp up that high shine. I love clear as like my final dip. And then also, like, if you like a color at two dips better than a darker pigmented look with three dips, you can dip two dips of your color and one or two dips of clear, and then you'll still have that strength. But you can't dip just really two dips for most people. I know some people can get away with it, but most people can't because you over buff it or your nails are weak in general. Yeah, yeah, and then it just doesn't last. Okay. All right, so your kit comes with a buffer, which I am pulling one out. Oh, nice. This is not the same buffer you get in your kit. Well, it is the same buffer. It just is not our logoed one. We are working with my extra spares right now. Um, but always keep the foam side to the cuticle. your cuticle. Yep. Norma says she got her shipping notification today. She's super excited. Yay. Watch your you. finger there. Oops, sorry, babe. I don't want to hit you. No, I don't want to lose my glitter. <laughs> oh, and Lana says she's going to call it fluffy glitter. I like fluffy. <laughs> fluffy is good, Lana. <laughs> Barbara says she, her clear will be in her next order. You can rest oh, I'm right sorry. there. Yeah, there you go. Cammie says she feels like three dips aren't enough. She thinks she should do three dips and then a clear. Yep. Yep. And I suppose it matters how, what you do with your hands all day too. Like it does. Are you in like, the garden or are you in the dishes or are you cooking and chopping and cutting and. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I just missed somebody said hi, Tiffany, and I missed whatever that was. That Whoever said hi, hi. Oh. <laughs> Feel how smooth that is now. Can I say it's like a baby dance? Is that allowed? <laughs> oh my god, that's fabulous! Right? It's very smooth. Wow, ladies, I promise you, like Maggie and I have gone through all the trials and errors of the whole process to get this perfect for you guys. So you just follow <laughs> the petite tutorials. And fluffy glitter. Oh, petite and fluffy. That's cute. I like that too. Yeah, love it. And somebody else, I love calling it ultimate glitter. That's a good one, too. I do like ultimate. Yeah. Bronte's asking, what drill do you use? You showed that earlier, yes, but we I can use show it again. The portable bell drill. You can get it on Amazon. It's about 150 bucks, but yes, it is expensive, but the quality is amazing. The battery lasts a long time, and it's wireless. Like, you charge it, and then it's portable, which is really great, especially in, like, this situation where I'm not in my live studio, and I can just carry it with me without all that excess, like, wire crap. I hate wires. Like, if there's one thing anybody could learn about me is I truly hate, like, wires. I want wireless everything. Mm. I just hate the tangle of it. Sue says she loves how you offer all these tutorials. Thank you. And Deanna says she agrees with Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> and our thumb. And yes, Barbara's pointing out that all the hand washing can be hard on the hands. Yes, yes. it can. Yes. All right, so you guys can see like how smooth that is. And because I'm just an extra person. I like to take a used buffer <laughs> to smooth it out even more to get that extra shine in okay. the end. All right. So this is not like required by any means. This is a total personal preference. So I love to save my beat up buffers and just get that final look that I'm going for with them. And again, like if you saw the beginning of the video, they're super helpful with nail prep too.
Oh, Kylie says she hates wires too. I do. I hate wires so much. Like, I want wireless everything. Ashley says, do you need to use the buffer as well as the drill, or is the drill enough? Uh, the drill is just enough. You can stop with the drill. You can do both, or you could do just the buffer. All total personal preferences at that point. And Deanna says she tears up her cuticles when buffing. Yep, so make sure you keep the purple side of the buffer to your cuticle because it's the foam that's not going to tear it up. That's a good... If you yeah. have... Yeah, it's yeah. just not going to be good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Does the bell drill come with bits or do you buy separate different type of drill bits? You know what? I bought it probably a year or two ago. I want to say it did come with the bits, but you know vendors can change their products over time and i don't remember because it was far away uh -huh. so i want to say it did but if it didn't you can get bits really cheap for i don't know 10 bucks on amazon 15 bucks they get more the better quality grit and stuff that they are but yeah you can find them all right so they're so smooth they oh are popping right now oh i can't wait to see the shine it's gonna be so pretty so let's just show real quick. Okay. This is what the nails look like as a matte finish before we add the shine. So don't mind, you know, the dryness here. I just did some buffing, yeah. but overall you can see like how nice the cuticle lines are, yes. how smooth the product is. This is so smooth. It just like the clear really plays tricks on your eyes. It's like I don't know what is like something that is encapsulated in like a clear epoxy and it looks so dimensional but it's not it's fabulous yeah i keep wanting to touch it <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shiny copper penny or something i don't know honey but i love it all right so whoever asked about number three and whoever is curious about the number three shine this here is we for you we yep. are here okay okay so at this point we are going to take our number two set and we're going to apply it to all the nails. The most important thing that you can remember about your Peppy Gel Kit system is that this bottle is the curing agent of your entire system. So if you make any mistakes, it'll cure on in other places besides your nails, AKA harden, hardening your shine bottle, and you just don't want that to happen. So avoid those mistakes by following exactly everything I'm about to tell you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this set. This layer of set is very important that you don't oversaturate your nails. You need just enough to cover the nail bed to kind of do its finishing job with the shine. Do you have time on your phone? I can put timer on my phone, but if I do that, I think I lose this. I don't know how to do both. <laughs> oh no, you're good. We'll estimate, if somebody can tell us with a comment. Oh, somebody can, somebody set their timer? Yeah, for when two minutes two is. Minutes? I'm gonna do my best to guess, but it's very important that you do two minutes at home because anything less, anything more, your results will not be optimal. And I just realized I skipped ahead and I need to smooth this out real quick. Okay. Which Kathy we can says do. That is gorgeous. Thank you. So I'm just cleaning up the edge. We already shaped the nails prior to we starting did. our application. Yes. Yes. But when you apply the powder, it kind of hangs over just a tad bit there. So I just want to clean up the shape real quick. And you can do that even after. Um, yep, just don't oops. exceed your two minutes. Right, okay. Yeah. So you don't want to exceed two minutes, but you don't want to go in sooner than two minutes. Correct. Okay. If you go in sooner, that's when you're going to ruin your that's when shine you brush. Cloudy. Yeah. 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 Also, I got some more tips coming for you with the number three to prevent that. Cloudiness. Caitlin says 927. What does that mean? Is that That's the two the time. minute timer? All right. So we probably got another minute and a half roughly. Amanda, look at that glitter. She says, oh my God, look at that glitter. I can't oh stop Oh my gosh. Wait glitter. till we shine it. I'll be walking around the, you know, neighborhood tomorrow waving my fingers. Like, everybody everybody. Everybody. Look. Like, look at my glitter. Look at my glitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I wear glitter. I want everybody to see it. So let's lay flat oh, Stephanie right here. says she said it on her phone. Thank you, Stephanie. I think Caitlin might have as well, but you know we'll take all the help we can get. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna estimate. Um, oh no, you don't have a little on your no, on I your don't, clock. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This always happens. Oh, yeah, right. Well, do we need to count? We don't need to count, but we no, don't. No, as long know. as we're, like, right at about two minutes. You don't want to do it basically at 30 seconds, and you don't want to do it at five minutes because it just won't work. And Brandy was asking, do you have to wipe in between two and three? Yes, we do, and we're getting ready to do so. Okay. And Caitlin says, not our Caitlin, but another one, that the glitter is amazing. Yes, it is. So before you apply your number three, you want to take two minutes when you finish the thumb, Stephanie. Thank you, Thank Stephanie. You. Ashley Bonavito says it looks so good. Thanks. Thank you, Ashley. Caitlin Geiger says two minutes is up. All right, let's get Thank to it. Thank you, Caitlin. So we just wiped the excess residue of the number two off with the paper towel. I turned that side face down because I don't want it to rub on my number three brush. So to get your MAC shine, timing is very important, but also the way you apply your shine is important too. If you go too slow with your nail to brush contact, your brush is gonna turn hard. So the key is to do two to three very quick layers. Don't overlap those layers and wipe your brush on the paper towel to remove that number two residue. Dip back into your bottle and do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that process right now. It's going to be oh so pretty. God, Tiff. Look yeah. at that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll be walking around the neighborhood tomorrow waving at everybody that can, can tell you that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay. The sparkle is so pretty. It's so pretty. Thank you, ladies. Everybody's calling time. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a rose gold? Yes, that's yes. a rose gold. What are you calling it? Peppy Paradise. Peppy Paradise. So we do our first layer, and as you can see, the first layer of shine kind of starts to absorb into the nail, which means the number two is doing its thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and just do our final layer of number three. You can overlap on this, that's fine. You still need to move at a quick pace and do all of your nails. So pretty, right? Oh, wow. It is popping. Oh, my God. Bling, bling, Auntie. I see that, Ash. I agree, honey. <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Amanda says, love it so far. Julie Marie says, love, love, love. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> and Katie says, your reactions are priceless. Yes, thank her you. reactions are priceless. <laughs> she needs to be on more lives. Uh, She's fun. Oh, it's fabulous, honey. All right. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> Tiffany. Do you love look. it? I do. Like go like like go like this, like oh, slow, so they can see the shine. Oh my goodness. What do you okay, guys think? Ladies. Let's come over here. I don't here, know. do it right there. Uh, I don't know. How look to at that make high look. shine. Any better than it could possibly. This lighting's a little Holy difficult cow. for a true color, but wow. That's can beautiful. I get closer to the? Yeah, I can go closer. I don't know if that's what it needs, but honest to Pete, oh my God, that's fabulous. Wow. There you go. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, I love absolutely. this combo. <gasps> the combo is really pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. I think that was a good one for you. That was a good one for me. Yeah. I can't stop looking at my sparkly finger. Ladies, so I just want to recap how I did the shine because I can't stress that part enough. Very light on your number two. <laughs> Wait two minutes, wipe your nails, and then the first layer of your shine, two to three quick strokes. Don't overlap. Wipe your brush on the paper towel and go back through right away and do your whole hand, the last and final coat. Your shine bottle is like your number one bottle. Always pull your brush straight in and out. Never get liquid up here or down here on the rims because it will glue your bottle shut. They don't glue shut on their own. They glue shut because liquid residue has been left there at some point by accident and it's easy to do because it's clear. So just keep that in mind. I can't stress that to you all enough. I want your products to last to the very last drop. So if you follow those simple tips and tricks, you will have that. <laughs>
Barbara, somebody I didn't catch the last name said my whole ring finger is bling bling bling. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it and is. I love with those it. rings, <laughs> it is blinging. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so you have to do the giveaway. All right, how do I do that? I don't know how you do so, that. So there's a couple ways you can do it. Okay. You can ask a question. The first person who answers can win. You can like scroll the comments and when I tell you to stop, that person can win. Or you can say um, if it's somebody's birthday is today or whatever. Like you can pick whichever way you want to do the giveaway. Oh, I'm going to let you mercy. decide. That's a toughie. The easiest one is like the scroll scroll. Yeah, that's but, like the most. Or somebody commented and it touched your heart. It did. Someone did comment and it touched my heart. But I can't remember what her name was now. So that doesn't do me any what good. What was the it? comment? Well, then I can't remember either. But she was very sweet. What did she say? You have to remember what she said, and I can find it on, on here. Can you? I, well, I her first name and her last name, I think, started with an M. But what did she say that touched your heart? That we were fabulous together. Me and you? Yeah. Oh, let's find that. I like that. But how, I mean, that'll be a long way. Oh, was it a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I mean, let's not make the poor girls wait. Let's... Okay. So. So, whose birthday? Who has a birthday? On your same birthday. On my birthday. Whose Tell birthday them... is May first? Whoever's birthday is May first. What? The first up. person. The first, first person. person. I only oh, have not one whoever. to give away. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. First, <laughs> first person, person whose birthday is May first. And be honest. Don't be. Don't oh, be Jessica says, oh, I'm dying. I've never been here for a live giveaway. My birthday is on Thursday, says Nicole. Just subscribe to a mystery box. Thank you. I need all the colors. I'm reading off all these people. It may be Put just your me, nails next I have, to me. I have a tiny issue when I do many glitters. I think I can do all that glitter. Please pick me. Can't wait to get my order. <laughs> 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 well, all right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Understand that. Oh, Jennifer says Auntie was amazing tonight. I like her. No. <laughs> oh. Brandy says we are both fabulous. Thank you. Samantha says June 16th is my birthday. Oh. Oh, Cammie says my mom's is May 4th, but she passed. Oh. Can we give it to Cammie, please? Cammie, yes. Cammie Manzi. We can Let's, We can give it to Cammie, but if somebody comments before somebody, we hang up, yeah. I'll do two tonight. Oh, sweet. Okay. So you got one minute before we hang up. If somebody oh, has and it. Cammie said, again, praying for everyone that we all stay safe. So she's... She's the winner. All right, Cammy, make email me Tiffany at peppyjaw at gmail dot com so I can send that to you. Oh goodness, Heather says my husband is overseas. Family means everything. They do indeed. And Brianna says love Auntie and her kind soul. Aww. Oh goodness gracious, girls, you're all killing me. Everybody's so sweet. Aww. <laughs> all right so nobody's saying may 1st no right? one no one is saying may 1st that's okay. there's a lot of thank yous and there are there's a lot of love out there oh well we love you guys all right so we'll have auntie pia back on live again soon but she's probably gonna be a little while because she don't do her nails as much as us yeah no i really don't yeah and I won't be needing to do them in a while because they look so fabulous. Yes. <gasps> oh, Joy Sparks, my 90-year-old aunt's birthday is May 1st. <laughs> Joy Sparks, holy cow. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. 90 <gasps> years old. Oh, wow. Goodness. All right, ladies. We are popping off for the night. We love you guys. I hope my tutorial was good, and I hope you guys loved meeting Auntie Pia tonight. I certainly and enjoyed it. We are gonna go finish our wine and her other peppy cure hand that we have to do <laughs> still. Wish me luck; it might not be good after my wine. Ciao, right. ladies. Just kidding. Good night. Love good you guys. Night. Bye.